Hey, welcome to Film Fury. My name is Victor Lucas. My buddy Johnny Millennium didn't join me for the screening of The Greatest Showman. It is the very busy holiday season after all. Uh, but I can tell you that he missed a really good movie. It stars Hugh Jackman as P.T. Barnum. It's a musical, first of all, so I'm going to give you that warning. If you hate musicals, I don't think this is going to convert you. Uh, but if you're open to them like I am, because I, one of my favorite movies of all time is Singing in the Rain. I also love The Wizard of Oz. You know, I love my Star Wars and I love my superheroes and all my sci-fi stuff, but I also can dig a movie musical, particularly one where Hugh Jackman is the star and he is phenomenal in this movie. It looks ridiculous when you see the trailers. It's just this burst of optimism, which in this cynical age, you know, with all this terrible news that's surrounding us and uh, the sort of jaded sort of quality that we all have towards all kinds of entertainment, you see the trailer for The Greatest Showman and it just comes off as a little bit too cheesy, a little too overtly optimistic. So you go into the movie like I did, probably with your guard up, and you're like, I don't know, convince me, let's see, entertain me. Uh, but I'll tell you something, Hugh Jackman and his cavalcade of uh, uh, singing and dancing performers in this movie do that. It really does get into your heart, and it really does charm you. Uh, this is a movie that has uh, the four H's in it. It's got uh, heart, it's got humanity, it's got some hopefulness, and it's got a lot of hope which is a big part of the P.T. Barnum, uh, you know, signature. This is the guy that brought circuses all over the world and made great fame and fortune for himself. He started with nothing, and he had huge aspirations, huge dreams, and that's echoed in the children that we see in this movie, Barnum's own kids, but also we have some great scenes that uh, kind of illustrate the kind of person that P.T. Barnum becomes with a young kid that plays him as a, as a younger person, and I thought that was actually really nice. He falls in love with a woman uh, named Charity, who's played by Michelle Williams, who's terrific in this movie as well, and uh, suddenly, you know, has aspirations and dreams well above his station and does everything that he can to get there. And I liked all of that stuff, and I thought it was really well performed. And frankly, everybody is good in this movie, and I don't know if it's a, uh, you know, uh, a question of looking at uh, Hugh Jackman and saying, well, I've got to sort of get to that level, but everybody, every supporting actor, every co-star, Zac Efron is really solid in this thing. Zendaya is is in this movie and there's a, a bit of a love story that develops between Zac Efron and Zendaya and it's uh, a little too much to handle for the society that exists in in, uh, in that time period in New York and I also like the scene between Zac Efron and Hugh Jackman Efron becomes a bit of a protege to Jackman's uh, Barnum in this movie and they've got this great sequence where Jackman is trying to charm Efron uh, at a bar and they're taking shots off of the bar and the bartenders involved and they're sort of using the bar as a bit of a you know a tap dance area uh, but they're incorporating the drinking and uh, and they're sort of back and forth into this song and dance routine which really comes off well and frankly all of the song and dance routines are really solid in this it's uh, sort of contemporary Broadway type music um, something that you probably see you know if you go to a, a New York show or a London show uh, so it's not particularly amazing or memorable, but it gets you in the moment, particularly because everybody is, you know, in the chorus sort of chanting and singing along and stomping their feet. And it's got a, a vibrancy to it and a vitality to it. And you get caught up in it, you know, and it, it really is from, uh, I think, the performers and their their commitment to these characters and, and their energy and their positivity and their hopefulness, it's all shining through. And this is about a, a guy, P.T. Barnum, who kind of recognized that humanity comes in all shapes and sizes and uh, all many forms. And it's, you know, he wanted to celebrate that. Yes, to his personal financial gain. And he is a bit of a shuckster and, and uh, Jackman is portraying Barnum in that regard. And circuses certainly have fallen out of favor, especially with the way that they've treated animals over the last hundred years. And I think uh, the Barnum and Bailey Circus went bankrupt, if I'm, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, but still, this was a fascinating period and it's a fascinating person, a fascinating time in uh, you know American history. And all of that stuff is really well handled in this cinematic interpretation, this fictional cinematic interpretation. It, it isn't like a biopic or anything like that. And some shortcuts are made to make this a, a great on-screen experience. I, and I have to give a, a shout out to uh, Michael Gracie who directs this picture. This could have easily have just been like a stage show performance kind of shot for the big screen. And it, it, wouldn't, it would have looked a little stagey and hammy, but there are some great cinematic gestures all the way through this, the, the editing is just so whip, snap, sharp, 
that you are constantly engaged and stimulated by this. Uh, you know, every time a newspaper thuds on a on a desk, it's like a drum beat. You know, and the, and the editing is just staccato like that, and and fun and uh, propulsive all the way through. The energy that uh, you know emanates from the fingertips of Hugh Jackman and all the other performers. It just sort of crackles all the way through this movie. So you are enter you know entertained and engaged by it. And when the actors break into song, it doesn't feel that uncomfortable or forced or phony. It feels like everybody showed up to make something really fun and special. And yes, it's optimistic. And yes, there's a this sort of calculated hopefulness about it. But it, God, you got to give credit where credit is due. This is an entertaining movie from start to finish. And it's all led by Hugh Jackman, who has become this multi-dimensional threat. This, this, uh, this guy that can, can really do anything, you know, and I just love watching this guy. I, I had the great fortune of seeing him on stage on Broadway when he did The Boy From Oz, which was a one-man show, and he was amazing in that, but God, he's great in this movie, and the movie really surprised me. I went in thinking this is going to be so cheesy, I'm going to hate it, but I ended up loving it, and I think this is great holiday entertainment that you should, uh, you know, easily take a family to or somebody you care about to, uh, or go see it by yourself and be lifted by it, but uh, The Greatest Showman doesn't disappoint. I love this movie. Nine out of ten for me.